everyone welcome back to my channel i understand i look a bit rough a bit crazy right now but it is currently let's see eight o'clock and i've only just got back from shopping it's been a spontaneous wild very expensive day so you saw the title you saw the thumbnail i'm gonna start off with the Burbrick I bought. Also, if you can hear the rain outside, I'm very sorry. I literally, I've moved over here so you guys can't hear it. So hopefully you can't hear it, but it's like chucking it down. And I've been in that all day with no coat. So that's why the hair is just not it either. But anyways, I bought a Burbrick. It was so spontaneous. I got it from End Clothing in Manchester. This is why I do always take my mum clothes shopping with me. I was meant to be going in to get like another, I got this jumper from there and I love it. I was just looking for another jumper or maybe like a, a new tee or something like that. No, I went in and bought a bird brick. So I'm just going to unbox it and show it you and when I all, when I went up to buy it, this was the last one and she was like you've made a really good investment there because even you'll keep it forever but if you do ever want to sell it it'll be worth more when you do. So I feel like I've, I have made a pretty good investment and this is just totally me. I've had my eye on one for ages. I saw people unboxing like you know the mini ones on TikTok. Um, and they look quite rubbish, but you're gonna see anyway now. Just so you know, it is real. I actually have already opened it and I need to put this back in it because that actually proves that it's real. So I definitely need to keep that. But <laughs> let's unbox it. This is my first ever one. I've kind of got like a fake one over there from Primark. But this is like the real deal. I'm gonna, how much did I pay for this? I paid 190, no, 169 pounds, I think, for this. Um, which I think is good for a Burbrick, guys. Like, I couldn't leave it. I mean, is it spontaneous just to randomly buy this? I was not going in there for it, but here we go. Are you ready for the reveal? I don't want to drop it. Oh, it's mine, guys. Like, this is real. This is mine. I don't want to put it anywhere in my room because I'm so scared of it getting damaged. But look, it came with a mini one. This is... Oh, no, I thought it was falling out of it then. I'm petrified of it falling out. This is it. How gorgeous is she? Pink and red, we all know it's my favourite combo. And oh, this is just so me. Sorry, I'm just looking what it says on it. It says like, stupid, what else does it say? Love me, love me. Does that say suck me? <laughs> it does. <laughs> what does that say? Oh my God. <laughs> That's kind of iconic. Oh my god, it spanked me. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> I didn't realise it's I just thought it said love me, love me. Because but a different place it says different things. That's cool. But this is it. What the hell? This is mine. This is officially Jessica Sefton's like what? That is crazy to me, but here they are. When I move out of my parents' house, this will be coming with me. And, wow, I just don't, I, I don't want to take it out of the box. But I need to, like, it has to. I need it in a, a place in my room where no one can touch it because you look with your eyes, not your hands. And a place where it will do it justice because this is stunning. I feel like £169 for a bird brick. For two, I feel like that was a bit of a steal, to be honest. And it'll probably be worth double, triple once it is a bit older. 
and maybe I might want to sell it in the future, but I don't think I do. If you see me selling this to all the police, does I'm not well. Because I don't, I just don't see that happening. But anyway, I'm just going to pop this away and we can get on to the clothing haul. I've just popped it over there because I am going to be making a TikTok about it. Because I saw people doing TikToks about the mini ones, so... I need to do a TikTok about that because I do like all my bedroom stuff on my TikTok as well and people absolutely love it. So, let's get into the haul. Um, should I do the interesting stuff first or the, no, I'll do the least interesting stuff first. So, um, I got, I got, some of this is my mum's as well, but just your average stuff, some wipes a flask because i am so unlucky with these every single flask i get it breaks i swear to god no matter how much it is how cheap it is they always break so i'm begging this one doesn't because i really really like this um socks more socks toothbrushes because me and my mom are doing quite a lot of traveling together this year so we thought we'd just get some cheap ones to take with us um, I got this for my sister because it's jasmine scented and her name is Jasmine and she's just moved into a new home. Some seamless underwear, which you don't need to see. Some nipple covers, which isn't important. More wipes and then some bobbles because I am so in need of them. I'm just blasting through this stuff because like, I feel like you don't really want to be seeing that stuff. You want me to get to the good stuff. But I also bought, I spent a lot of money today, guys, I won't lie, especially with that bear brick. But I got a new um, wire for my, a new charger wire because my other one is, it is done. It, she's, she's, how's she still working? I don't know. Next, I picked up this book. I have been looking for this book everywhere. If you haven't watched Shadow and Bone on Netflix, I did not know there was a book series to it. My friend told me after I finished the series, another series is coming soon, but I did not know it was a thing like the series. Like I've not seen anyone watch it or anyone go on about it. It is underrated. Such a good series. Please go watch it right now. I was going to say if you're into Vampire Diaries and stuff like that, but it's not that kind of vibe at all. I feel like it's for anyone. Like, if you like Stranger Things and all that, I feel like you'd like this. You've just got to give it time to get into it. It's, it's really good. So, apparently, the book series is even better and there's tons of them. So, I'm really excited to read this if it's anything like the series because it was so good, guys. And I'm very excited for the next series. But then, let's get into the clothes. I will not be trying these on, very sadly, guys. Oh my god, the nightmare I had in Urban Outfitters try, waiting to try these on. Oh my god, the queue. Me and my mum were in Urban Outfitters for easy over two and a half hours. And I don't take that long to shop, guys. Like, any of my friends know when we go shopping, I'm so quick. I'm in and out. In and out. So quick. So, um, I took some stuff back. So, um and exchange some stuff because I got some oh my god it's got a mark on it trust me to get the one with the mark on that's so annoying I'll have to wash that anyways what do I pull first okay first thing I see first up I'm going to tell you how much everything is because I feel like I always don't do that and people like that I don't know so first up I got this bag I am having an identity crisis at the minute I love my style and the way I dress but if I don't if I don't like my outfit I don't like me as a person like honestly guys I'm so bad for it like I just if I don't enjoy my outfit that I'm wearing that day I can't be in a good mood that's what I've learned about myself recently so I've had a bit of an identity crisis and just I really want to buy a new wardrobe like I've got so many ideas and stuff but i just can't make them into a thing because there just isn't clothes that are like really standing out to me like they used to like nothing like even the stuff in this it, the stuff in here i love but i'm not like oh my fucking god i'm so excited to wear it i'm not like that 
and I want to be like that again. So I don't know what someone needs to do, but they need to do it. Anyways, I got this bag because um, we know I'm a bit of everything. I love a bit of street style. I've not even took my other bag off. I got just like this, but I was going to get it in black, but then I was like, I've literally got this Tarhart one and the material is so nice. It's like, it's like, it reminds me of like a puffer jacket. It's really, really nice. And I was actually going to get an expense, a more expensive one. And then I was like, I saw this and I was like, this is literally nicer. It's smaller, but it's cheaper. So I'll get this one. So this is the bag. It's like it's from. Bit annoyed that I didn't swap that mark or I would have swapped it. But this was £29, which I think is a bit of a steal because these bags are really in at the minute and I absolutely love them. I've got lots of girly girl bags and I just need some different ones that you can hang around because there's nothing I hate more than carrying my bag, especially if you're like doing an activity or like golf something like that it's so annoying so this is perfect because it just hands around you and i love them so this is perfect for me next i got i'll show you this next i wasn't sure if to get this or not i've had my eye on one for ages um but i just thought you know what let's get it let me just zip it up so i can show it you properly this was a lot these are a lot I tried it on it looked really nice it's quite oversized even though it's a small but i'm really into i've been into ed hardy for a while but i got the um parachute pants and um, i've got an instagram photo in them but i actually sold them i think on a car boot sale or something because i didn't like the bottoms of them they work for me but i've got this ed hardy zip up because i need more jackets I absolutely love this the only thing about these two is kind of like the same colors kind of and I need to start opening my range a bit no I don't I've got so much color in my wardrobe what am I even saying I can get something that's the same color Jesus Christ it's got all sorts of colors on I'm just being so weird anyways so here she is in her full glory I feel like you'll either love it or hate it it actually looks so nice on and then the hood just says Ed Hardy on it. I don't think you're ready to hear how much it is. £79 I paid. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> no, anyways. And then it's got Ed Hardy on the pocket as well and it looks really, really nice on. I just love the details on the arms and stuff like that and it's just nice for like even in summer you know when like it's been hot all day and it gets cold on the night and you need a jacket perfect what next let's just grab these so i got one for mom one for me this one's mango yeah tropical mango and this one's sweet vanilla and they're the bondi sands spf um 50 plus lip balms and this is perfect because we're going to Benidorm and we're also going to Amsterdam and we're planning on going to Barcelona I'm not sure if Barcelona will happen I hope it will but especially for Benidorm these will be perfect so I got this one for my mum and this one for me they were five pounds each then next up I got this top this is from Urban Outfitters but it isn't actually the Urban Outfitters brand see i wouldn't normally get something like this but i really just gravitated towards it i don't know how i'm gonna style it um but i feel like it'll be cute i tried it on and it looks really really nice on i've got another top from here at the minute what's it called um basic pleasure mode that's the brand and this is the top it looks actually really really cute on and then it's got like a little hood it's khaki green like trims and lining and then it's white with the khaki green lace and it looks so nice on and i saw quite a few people picking this up to be honest and like i said it's not really something i would usually grab for but i did and i actually really liked it on especially with these pants that i've got on as well so so nice next up i have these cargos we all know I love my cargos. I literally, 
I live in them. I might as well at the minute anyway. I'm just, all I wear is them. They're just comfy and they look so nice on. How can I complain? I don't like skinny jeans. My jeans at the minute that I've got, I've not got any new ones. So they're all like, don't get me wrong, I love re-wearing stuff. But I'm getting to the point where I'm like, oh. Like, I'm not liking them anymore because I'm wearing everything so much over and over again. I want to keep them all, but I need some new bits. Like, I need a new wardrobe for me to fall back in love with them again. If you get what I'm saying. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But these are the pants. And at first I thought they were pink, but they're not. They're purple. It's this gorgeous purple colour. And I thought that's the perfect pop of colour to get back into the summer wardrobe. So these are them they are gorgeous how much were they oh i didn't tell you how much that top was let's see let's see 32 pounds this top was so these are the pants and i got these in a size medium and they are 59 pounds these pants i arrange really because i struggle with stuff because they're too big on the waist but they're too small on the bottom they're not too small but they just fit my bum if you get me so i kind of just can't win but i'd rather have them a bit big on the waist than literally grabbing my bum cheeks if you know what i mean <laughs> anyways um yeah these are the pants i really like them let me know in the comments down below what you think I don't think I've ever wore this colour before, but it'll be a nice change. And then last but not least, I got this top. My mum actually spotted this and it's actually a Motel Rocks top. This was, oh, I don't know how, I actually can't tell you how much this was because it's got the Motel Rocks label on. Let's have a look and see if I can find it. Oh my God. My student discount did bits for me. If you're going to Urban Outers and not using your student discount, please, guys. Please. Oh, my God, that did a lot, actually. I got £15.30 off just with my student discount. That is so good. Sorry, I'm trying to see where the top is. I think this is 22 because I didn't say anything else was 22 I'm going to say this was £22, guys. I'm sorry if it's not. But I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I'm going to say 22 I'm sorry if it's not. I'm not 100% sure. But this is the top. I did get it to go with these pants. But... I don't know. I tried them on. I did like it together. But I'm not like... 100% sure yet yeah. but I do really like this top I do really like these pants but I'm not sure if I like them together quite yet I'll have to style them differently or try them on another time and see um but this is the top it's just a plain white top but then it's got like this pink detailing on at the front and it's like a pink corset imprinted on it and we all know I love a good imprint like I love it on tops I think that's kind of like my guilty pleasure to be honest but it feels so soft but that was 22 pounds and i think that is everything guys that is all i got today but i feel like it was a pretty successful day very spontaneous but successful thank you everyone so so much for watching this video it means the absolute world to me sorry about the state of me i mean i did explain i've been out all day in that rain and it's been a long day but let me know what you think about the haul and let me know what you think about the bear brick. I can't believe I own one. What the hell? I'm going to go make a TikTok about it right now. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next Sunday for another video. Bye!